Thanks for tuning in to PR's Realm. Today, I'm going to review the GNC Pro Rewards Program and unveil what comes inside the GNC Pro Rewards Box. I'll also discuss some of the benefits of joining and in some cases, reasons why you may not want to join. However, before I do that, I'm going to quickly give a comparison slash overview of the old program and the new program. The old program was called the Gold Membership. I paid $15 for two years. And at that time, all members received discounts of anywhere from 30 to 40% off most products. So the savings were instant. By the time my membership was up, things changed drastically. The gold membership became free and they started to introduce points. With points, you earn money, but you have to spend money to get the money. With pro rewards, you get twice the points. So you get money back quicker. You also receive exclusive coupons, which you also did with the old program and these pro rewards boxes. They come twice a year and they're standard with every membership. Now let's check out what comes inside the box. For the sake of the video, I didn't open it. So I'm going to check it out with you for the first time. So let's get into this box. All right. Let's see this right here. It's a, it looks like this is what they used to send coupons and stuff like this. Oh, and they sent uh, three times rewards. Came with a little men's fitness magazine. Oh, and then on the other side, I guess it's geared towards women with the shape magazine. I'll check that out later. See what that's about. Uh, here's a protein crisp bar. Let's see how much protein is in this. 10 grams of protein, and it's not that big. And 2.5 saturated fat, 3 grams of fat. I mean, that's not bad. This is a good snack on the go. Then I got CLA, clinically proven to improve. It's for uh, getting leaner for people that work out. Um, it came with a three-day supply of Citramax. I'm guessing it's for energy. It came with water x and i'm almost positive this is a water pill it came with fish oil which is good for a lot of different things i mean they basically gave small samples of each thing and the fish oil it's what how many is in here let me see there's 21 and their recommendation is one a day so that's not bad they gave this drink, which looks like one of those Arizona drinks, but I'm sure it's an energy drink. It's called Bang. Oh, a good flavor, pina colada. I don't remember if they gave me a choice in flavors or anything, but this is uh, vit Vitality, which is basically another way of saying energy pills, but it's basically just multivitamins. A lot of these things are good to try out, especially certain things such as these little energy shots called screaming energy max hits it's basically panax ginseng caffeine b vitamins taurine and a few other things that are supposed to give you energy the last thing i found in here is a tool called a caliper for those of you who don't know what a caliper is it's a tool used to measure body fat and this is great because it's a lot more accurate than just using a scale alone. Before I go, I'm gonna leave you with my opinions on the taste and effectiveness of the products. I'm gonna start out with the drinkable slash edible products. The first thing I tried was Screaming Energy. I took it this morning to wake me up and to be able to do my workout. Luckily, I had a good night's sleep because this didn't really make a difference. It has ginseng, it has caffeine, it has guarana, it has taurine, B vitamins, and a few other things. As far as taste, it's disgusting. It tastes like coffee mixed with ginger, mud, and a little fecal matter. 
The second thing I tried was this drink called Bang. They gave a pretty big can, 16 ounces. I didn't drink it all because I didn't want to get all bloated up on a drink. So I drank half. Next time, I'll drink the other half. This one's pina colada flavor. It has creatine, amino acids. It has some vitamins, minerals, herbs, and it tastes decent. It has a little bit of an aftertaste, but overall it's not bad. Right now, I was trying the last of the edible products, and this, I must say, this is great. This one is really good. It's protein crisp. It has 10 grams of protein three grams of fat, it's two grams of sugar per bar, and the taste is excellent. To be fair, I waited about a week to do this part because I actually wanted to try out the different supplements, see if there was any difference or see if it helped at all. Super Citramax, I'm really not sure if it did anything. And to be honest, I'm not sure if any of them did anything. But, a positive in regards to the fish oil, some fish oils make you burp up a nasty flavor. This one doesn't leave any aftertaste. In general, fish oil is supposed to be good for many things in addition to helping with your workout, such as inflammation and other things, which you could look up online. <coughs> Waterax is supposed to balance out the water in your system so you'll be more lean and toned but again it's very hard to say if it made a difference the CLA is supposed to be good with energy help muscle tone again hard to say finishing up let me discuss the last two things or last few things the magazine Quite interesting. I had quite a bit of articles on how to eat properly. It gave suggestions on different meals. And I'm sure many of you probably have seen this magazine in stores. Like I said earlier, the other side is the woman's side. Being funny, I could say I just looked at this for the pictures. But believe it or not, there's actually even some good suggestions for men and women because both men and women would like to lose weight around their waist. If you're trying to build your body, you also want to burn your fat. And a lot of these simple but quite difficult, and I say simple because they look simple, but they could give you a great workout. The last thing I tried out is the caliper. This device is pretty simple to work. Basically, you take this device, you bring it down to your lower abdomen, which is where most people, even thin people, tend to have a problem layer of fat, a little excess fat that they would like to lose, especially if you want to get that six pack look. You bring the device, squeeze it together against that little layer of fat, then you get the measurement. This has inches and millimeters, but the chart they gave measures in millimeters. So let's say it was 30, you would get those 30 millimeters, go to the chart, look for your gender. On the left side, it's males. On the right side, it's females. In my case, I would be looking at males. Then you look for your age group, and then you go down to the number of millimeters that were measured. Where the points meet is the percentage of body fat. From there, you would go to the body classification scale. And in the body classification scale, they gave five different groups. There's essential fat, there's athletes, there's fitness, average, and obese. As long as you're somewhere under 25%, you should be okay. Over 25% is considered obese. Anything less is fine. If you want to be perfect, you shouldn't go any lower than 2%. 2 to 5% for males 
is the essential fat. Everyone needs certain fat just to live. Athletes tend to have 6 to 13% fat, and people that are fit tend to have 14 to 17% fat. I wound up being right at the end of the fitness, which is okay. I still want to do better. So I'm going to keep trying, keep improving my workouts, keep eating right, and doing better. So if you like this video, and even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Share my channel, share my videos, leave a comment, and make sure you come back often. Thanks for watching PR's Realm. www youtube.com slash prs r e a l m